You can create a new EDMR submittal from the MyDEQ dashboard from three different links. The items due and in progress list under item due and in progress section. Quick link view my submittals. And the submit button. The items due and in progress permit link and quick link view my submittals open the my submittals screen. My submittals accessed from a permit listed under the items due and in progress on the dashboard will pre fill the information in the fields. If an item is due in the next six months, or if it is currently in progress, draft or awaiting review. The item will be considered in the count and can be accessed from the permit link. My submittals accessed from the view my submittals quick link on the dashboard will provide access to all permit EDMR reports that the user has approval for. It will take a few moments to load the information at the bottom of the screen of upcoming due draft and submitted reports. Column headings can be used to sort the search results using the arrow icons next to the column headings. Additional sorting is available in the middle of the screen with the due date and submitted records drop down menus and clicking the search button. If a submittal has not yet been started and the monitoring reporting period is open, you can begin the submittal by clicking on the right side of the row. If you do not see this symbol, you cannot begin the submittal because the monitoring period is not yet open. The plus icon displays for an available report that can be opened. The view icon looks like an eye, allows access of a report that is in draft or submitted accepted status. The download sheet icon allows opening a blank printable DMR format file. If a draft is in progress, the DMR download function isn't allowed to open to avoid duplication. Click the submit button on my DEQ portal, which will open the create a submittal screen. On the Create a Submittal screen, select a form from the drop-down menu of EDMR report types. When the cursor is placed in the For Data Entry field, a menu of the available reporting periods will appear related to the permits that the user is associated with. When a permit reporting period is selected, a second designation may need to be selected if there are multiple DMR reports during the period. If no reports are listed because they aren't available, because they were already submitted, a pop-up window will provide that information. If you do not see the expected DMR reports, you may need to go to the My Account page and check your access list. You may need to request access and have your access approved prior to being able to create a new submittal for that particular record. When the needed DMR report has been selected, click the Create button to begin the submittal. The online DMR report will open. If the View All Submittals button is clicked, the My Submittal screen will open, which allows researching and accessing information for all reports. The eDMR report will take a few minutes to open. The first screen has the permit information of permit number, permit name, facility name, monitoring period and due date, facility address, and facility physical address. At the bottom of the first screen, there is a question to verify the accuracy of the permit information on the EDMR form. The default is yes, but if there is an issue, change the button to no, which will display the EDMR hotline for contacting the regional compliance auditor, who will then facilitate the need update to the form. 
please contact the compliance auditor for any issue with the EDMR form and not just an inaccuracy on the first screen. Note that links for advancing to the next section of the report is at the bottom of the screen in addition to the navigation in the left side column. The report will auto save when moving from section to section but also can be manually saved by clicking the Save Progress button on the top right of the screen. On the discharge information screen, the input of the first information will determine the format of the reporting form. Every place there is are red asterisks or stars the reporting is required before the report can be submitted. The instruction to please indicate if the permitted outfalls have discharge should be answered related to the flow that allows sampling for the reported parameters. The drop down menu allows selecting yes or no. This is not a question of whether an unplanned event occurred. If the discharge was planned to sample for reporting parameter data, the answer is yes. If there wasn't a discharge, the answer is no which is reporting no discharge and the parameters won't display and parameter reporting won't be available. The question below of the discharge information is, did any of the above outfalls have bypasses or overflows? The yes or no button should be selected. If yes is selected, fields for reporting date and data will be available on the form after the parameter reporting tabs. The next section after the discharge information is the outfalls, which will have tabs for entering the individual parameter data. Report data should be entered in each field that has a red asterisk or star symbol. The data should be reported in the permit required units. There are fields for entering comments for any of the reporting fields. There are drop-down menus for frequency of analysis and sample type that allow selecting a different value or other or asterisk and entering the appropriate information if the desired value isn't in the list. The other parameter tabs are available at the bottom of the screen and should be selected to enter the reported data for all of the outfall parameters, the next outfall and parameters would be available. When all of the outfalls and parameter data entry has been completed, the next EDMR section is storm event information, if this reporting is required by the permit. The storm event information requires the following data. Date of event, which is entered by selecting a date on the calendar of a date within the reporting monitoring period. Duration of the event enters as hours and minutes. Rainfall total expressed in inches. Preceding event expressed in days and minutes. The preceding event is the number of days since the previous date of a storm event that created a discharge that could be sampled. The industrial stormwater permit requires that there be at least 72 hours or three days since the previous preceding event. There are buttons to identify the source of the sample discharge. The selection is yes or no to answer this question. Is storm event information unavailable due to the stormwater discharge coming from a stormwater management structure or snow melt? The next reporting section is operator information. Operator information is required on the EDMR report when it is required by the permit and the red asterisks designate this on the EDMR form. When the operator information is required, the information must be entered before the report can be submitted. When the operator information isn't required, it is optional that the information is entered. The next section is comments and attachments. Comments entered in this section should be general comments that relate to the report. The attachments can be added by browsing the computer or network to choose a file or by drag and drop to upload. The next section is a review of the information entered on the report. 
the review step is required. If the signing link is accessed without the review step, the report can't be submitted until the review is completed. Missing and inappropriate data entry will be identified in red in the review section. Data entry can't be done in the review section. The data entry must be done in appropriate data entry section, such as the outfall or operator section that will also be identified in red. When the review has been completed with any needed corrections, the signing section is available for the submission. While other users can view the signing screen, only a user with signed submit authority can submit the report. The certification for the report is a statement and four checkboxes that are asserting the user's authority and review of the submission. The user's login password must be entered and the answer to one of the knowledge questions. If the user submitting the report didn't set knowledge questions, the question field displays rather than a question. The user must return to the My Account page and set the knowledge questions before returning to the signing screen for the submission. Submission complete window displays when the EDMR report is complete. The print confirmation button in the upper right corner prints the information that is on this window. Only the submitter receives this pop-up window. No email is sent to other submitters. The return to my DEQ portal button in the lower right of the screen is a link to the dashboard. The view submission button in the lower left opens the submission overview screen with options to view the complete report, revise the report, and download print the submitted report.